having lasted for more than a full week. North Korea's Eight Workers Party Congress ended on Tuesday. Kim Jong un once again pledged to strengthen nuclear defenses while highlighting the need to restore the regime's sluggish economy. Our Unification Ministry correspondent, Kim Dami, has more. The curtain came down on North Korea's Eighth Workers' Party Congress Tuesday with Kim Jong un renewing calls to strengthen the regime's nuclear capabilities. Delivering concluding remarks during the final session, Kim also stressed that detailed tasks should be carried out to accomplish his new five-year economic development plan. The event, which started last Tuesday, was the second longest Congress in the North's history after the Fifth Congress in 1970. In the meantime, Kim's sister Kim Yo-jong slammed South Korea for closely tracking the regime's movements in relation to a possible military parade. On Monday, Sarah's military authorities said it detected signs that the North has staged a parade late Sunday. Based on how she was referred to in the statement, Gim appears to have been demoted from first vice department director to vice department director of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party. But the latest statement released under her name shows she still remains a powerful figure. In fact, experts note there is a possibility of her taking the current vacant secretary position in charge of relations with Howard. Following the closure of the rare event, the North plans to convene the Supreme People's Assembly earlier than expected on Sunday. The annual meeting is expected to discuss and ratify policy goals set during the Congress, like the issue of adopting a law on the new five-year economic development plan. Kim Dami, Arirang News.